Hi guys, I hope you're good since last video. So in this video, we're gonna see how you can run an LLM in your phone without internet and chat with it. Okay, let's navigate to Yama file using the Google browser. So I'm gonna do everything in my phone. We are in the Git repo, the Yama file one. So you don't need to understand all the stuff. You just need to uh, go down there. And uh, I'm going to show you everything step by step. Just follow the steps. So watch the video to the end. And you download the binary, which is here in the assets. And the version is uh, 0.8. 12, we just pressed on it, it's downloading. The file is downloaded, it's perfect. After that, we're gonna go to a hugging face. So we're just gonna get the model from there. Just tap straight away into the search bar, hugging face, GGUF, tiny yama. So we're just gonna go and click on the first link and we're gonna download the tiny yama model. So I can't see here the quantization. Let's just turn this around. Here we go. Let's zoom a bit for you. And we're gonna grab the quantization for the small, the medium one. Let's click on it. And we're going to press the download button. So Yama file is an amazing uh, project, which permits you to just to download the model, the binary, run it anywhere and uh, get your LLM. Depend how powerful is your computer. You need Termux terminal to be uh, installed. So I'm not going to show you how to install Termux. You just need a terminal in your in your in your telephone. Termux is uh, is the best. So internal uh, and external storage. So here Termux, I need it just to search how to uh, for the permissions because we need to have access to those downloaded files. And uh, there is a comment. Just gonna search it here. So when you have a terminal running in your phone, you don't wanna give it full permission on everything. So here it says that we need to run. What, where is it? Storage. Here, yeah, that's the one. Termux setup storage. And after we leave the permission. So you just copy that, go to your terminal, paste it, and you allow the access to the files. Hello. Okay. So we go to the download to check uh, the file presence. You see here we can see now the downloads. In the storage, this is, how, uh, this is how it was uh, described in the documentation. We're going to cd into the downloads. So we are in storage downloads from our root directory, not root from our user directory. LS, and we just grab Yama, we got those two, the model and the binary.
we're gonna organize it a bit to have it uh I'm just gonna go back here we're gonna make a directory yama file so we're in the home directory now from the home directory we make this yama file we're gonna copy uh, with the option recursive all the all those files that we have downloaded which are located in the storage downloads Do it like that. So I just grab those so you don't see all the all my files. Okay, so those two are present. That's where they are. So you can see that they are in storage downloads. So now it's clear. Now we're just gonna copy those from a that folder to the Yaba file folder that we just have created in our home directory. So I have big fingers just typing uh, two buttons at the same time on the keyboard. So now we're just gonna copy this. We got those two into the Yama file folder. We're good. We're gonna cd into the Yama file folder. I just checked the permissions. So here you see we don't have the the execution permission I mean I'm not in the right folder here here we can see on those two files we don't have the, the permission so we're just going to make those uh, executable I don't know in Termix if it is the uh, same as in uh, any uh, Ubuntu computer let's just try it like that chmod plus execution all no, invalid mode. Let's put the file name. No. What do you want? Search mode. Can maybe use the the help. Maybe Intermix is different. doesn't work let's just go into the documentation we're gonna find it okay so we have the different options change silence verbose recursive help version each mod is of the form so here we got uh, this uh, kind of uh, regex telling us uh, how you can do that so we need to precise if it is the user the group others that's where we got it so how are we gonna format this after we have the x so ch mod on the first group user plus execution only put the file names good this it works now i, I believe so and let's um, do the same for the model i don't know if you need to do it for the model but i just do it let me just do our ls la and we see that uh, those two now they have the x execution permission is like and subscribe this is just a small uh, break and we're gonna start the app so this is how easy it is to uh, install 
and uh, now we're gonna just uh, I'm just uh, doing something that you don't need to do but I'm gonna rename this file Yama file you can run it straight away but, uh, I'm just gonna call it Yama file one of the dot slash and the name of the file just to run it to start the application with the option with the option um, just to indicate with model dash m to say that we're using uh, the model tiny yama so let's customize this the bot name it's gonna be uh citizens how you call it let's call it citizens android so I'm in an Android phone. So there's a prompt template also. Chat history template. I'm just gonna get rid of the, the prompt. And we put the prompt uh, that we wanna put. Just gonna give a role uh, to this um, bot. You are a scientist specialized in climate change and can answer and assist user in climate related questions questions For any other subject other than climate, you answer. Maybe this is too long for Tiny Lady Yama. Just gonna get the beginning of the prompt, not sure. Just gonna put this just to see. You can test it. You can answer Shibuya in summer is super hot. <laughs> That's it. Username. Oh, you could uh, the user. But it isn't fun. Okay, so you see it's very customizable. Temperature, you got the top key, the top P, the min P, and so on. And just leave it uh, as a default. There's uh, even more options here. And you see there's the option for an API key. So that means that you that means that you can use also. Uh, some uh, some paid models so let's prompt it I heard that each temperature I heard that earth's temperature is on the rise and there is nothing to stop it So let's ask a question which is uh, climate uh, change related. Is that true? That is correlated to the sun cycles. Let's see what he's going to say. I didn't fast forward any parts of the video, so we're just going to see how long it takes to answer. So this is how long it takes. It's acceptable. You see how many tokens is uh, sprinting. How fast it is. It's okay. So what's the answer? The Earth's temperature has been rising and falling for thousands of years, but it does not necessarily 
mean that uh, there are always solar variations in play. As you know, solar activity affects our planet's climates, the other complex system, and so on and so on. And now I'm just gonna prompt it a question which is not uh, climate change related. Let's see what it's gonna answer. Where is Junko at the moment? We wait for it to be done and we uh, can send this prompt. This was a short prompt, we got the answer pretty quick, but it did announce uh, Shibuya is hot in summer and is lying. She was in your place, but I couldn't find her in time to answer. <laughs> Alright, so it depends how powerful is your, is your phone, but uh, you can install uh, models. This is a very, very small model that can run locally. But uh, I suggest you to, to check the git repository of uh, Yama file in, uh, in details because you can use it as an uh, API. You can make API calls also to this, uh, to this uh, application, little application. All right, I'm going to stop here. Hope that you like this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time.